Here is a line that may surprise a few of you. Canberra is undergoing a food revolution. Something really exciting has been happening here in the last five or so years, where young chefs, they're no longer leaving for the big smoke. Oh no, they are staying here and people are coming here in their droves to milk the amazing produce of the region, mix it up with creatives in Hospo, and they are creating something very exciting. It's a food movement that you and I get to enjoy. Let's eat. My capital foodie adventure kicks off with the lovely Amelia Bidgood, chief guide and owner of Eat Canberra Food Tours. So there's a really um, good food vibe in Canberra, a buzzing food scene. There's a lot going on. There's everything from hatted restaurants yes. to wine bars to patisseries to amazing burger places. There's just so many options. You are spoiled for choice. Our afternoon walking tour is centred around the really hip streets of Braddon. So how do you choose where to go to? with so much on offer. Yeah, so I guess we have a variety of different cuisines and style of food, but all of the businesses are either locally owned or they're family owned. Is that why you brought me here? Absolutely. Absolutely. For our first Taste of Braddon, we're heading to Zahn, a hybrid yeah. Lao Thai restaurant. So what inspired you to create this restaurant? So I grew up eating my parents cooking, so traditional Lao food, even Thai food as well. And it was really hard for me to find a good place here in Canberra. And I really wanted to share what I had grown up eating mm. with everyone else. And is your dad the chef in the kitchen? Yeah, dad's the chef. Hi. I don't mean to interrupt, but I am so darn hungry and this smells really good. Cool. <laughs> please, please. We're starting with the pork skewer. The smell mm. is amazing. Next up in the cup here, you've got a Lao beef jerky and then a son-in-law egg on the side What there. does that mean? Your son-in-law egg, the reason why it's got its name is because if a mother-in-law ever cooks up this dish, it's basically a warning to him, you're not treating my daughter well enough, so you better start doing that or it's going to be your man parts that resemble these eggs on the table next time. <laughs> Next stop is a Braddon Original, the Bent Spoke Brewing Company. All of their 18 beers and ciders are created right here on site. Here we go, some of uh, Bent Spoke's uh, sort of famous beers, I guess. We've got our Barley Griffin uh, Pale Ale. That one? That one. Nice sort of light fruity pale ale, but pretty easy drinking. Um, it's got a nice sort of passion fruity sort of aroma to it. Really getting passion fruit, yeah, actually. Yeah, I, yeah. I never thought that I would be describing beers in that way. We've got our award-winning crankshaft, voted number one beer, craft beer in Australia, two not years bad, running. Not bad, Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Absolutely. The two-storey brew pub also serves up really yummy food, cleverly integrating elements from the brewing process to ensure Nothing goes to waste. Yummy. So good. For our final stop, Amelia promises me an authentic taste of Sicily. I am like a kid in a candy store. Mm -hmm. This is my kind of place. Yeah, there are so many amazing options here. Heaps of Italian products, a whole stack of wine from local wines to Italian wines to aged wines. And then there's all ready-made meals as well. So you can buy the fresh pasta that they make daily that hours of love have gone into and enjoy them at home. I have heard it said that Canberra has more restaurants per capita than anywhere else in Australia. Why do Canberrans love going out to eat? Canberrans are very food savvy. Don't forget that due to the embassies and the diplomats, etc., that travel and they appreciate the fact that we are trying to do the authentic yeah. Italian cuisine. Excuse me, I'm just crunching on some crackles. <laughs> Don't mind me. You know, the wonderful thing about this tour is you can eat whatever you like because you know you're going to walk it off. And remember, 
we have barely scratched the surface of this amazing food scene. So make the most of being with Amelia because you are like a a walking blog of, of inside tips and all the goss of all the different things that are happening here with this food revolution. Said no one ever, viva la camera! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that'll catch on, but anyway. <laughs>